Two thirds of the American people support Donald Trump's policy prescriptions for immigration right now, including a majority of Hispanics but in the United States. what about his comments? Let me just I mean, tell do you, you see them as racist and xenophobic comments? I mean, he's painting migrants as, uh, you know, no. being violent. You know, they have violent tendencies, right? And of course, dehumanizing oh. Oh, them is he? to, oh, is he? to well, you know, being entertainment uh, for the rest of us. Is, is he painting them as being violent? I mean, would Lake and Riley think they were violent? Would Rachel Marin think they were violent? Would Jocelyn Nungare in Texas think they were violent? How about the girl that was raped in broad daylight in New York City? How about the girl that was kidnapped in Missouri? Yeah, there are violent people in the country. And yeah, Donald Trump uses colorful language, but the bottom line is immigration is killing Joe Biden's campaign right now. This is why he has a low approval rating. This is why Donald Trump is honing in on this and people are responding to it and people are fed up with it. And if you wanna call two thirds of the country racist or xenophobic because they're in a mood right now that they want this fixed, yes, agree, by all means, go on. It's not going to work. Can I finish, Simone? Will you just shut up for a minute and let me finish? Pardon me, sir, you don't get to tell me to shut up on national television. We don't tell people to shut up on this show. You gotta love it when the American media tells you they are completely out of ideas. Look at these clips, both on MSNBC and CNN, where they stop trying to deal with the issue of illegal immigration and try to police the entire conversation instead. Asking about uh, immigration and how you see immigration, how um, in this plan, how you talk about using like the National Guard to deport individuals. Like, what is the, uh, Alicia, and do tell me if I am adequately. Yeah, people on the interior specifically. People not on the, the interior specifically, not people in the border, people within this country. Well, first of all, we need to close the border. And secondly, we need to have the biggest mass deportation system ever in the history of America because it is unjust and illegal and evil that more than 10 million illegal aliens have come to this country. It's imperative that we send those people back, invite them back to come through the legal system. We love immigrants at Heritage, but we also love the rule of law. So how do you plan to carry that out? Well, Are you talking about going door to door? Because that's what the, I mean, I could read from the plan, but I think the, the first thing is that there's going to be a lot of self deportation. The interesting thing, as you no doubt know, is that simply talking about this and beginning to implement a plan and President Trump deserves a lot of credit for talking about this causes people to say, I don't want to run the risk of being arrested for doing something illegal. But secondly, there are great plans using the Department of Homeland Security to return these people back to south of the border. The great thing is even a majority of people on the political left agree with this because they see the damage that this has done. Well, I, just to, before we go. I think we want to take a couple more minutes. Yeah, yeah, and so I'm I know we're being told to wrap, but we want to take a few uh, more minutes. No, I'll stay as long as no, you no, want. No, no, no. <laughs> just ask you real quick. So what do these people do? What are they doing now? Which people? The, the folks, the 11 million, 20 million, whatever you want to deport. A right? lot of them are committing crimes like murdering the 12-year-old girl in Houston. Uh, in fact, so that's very one, that's about one that. out of 11 million. Uh, what, what is the, we we what can is take the, the remaining time of the segment and I can give you a in lot of examples. In Texas, undocumented immigrants were 37 point one percent less likely to be convicted of a crime. Um, undocumented immigrants, and uh, according to a survey, University of California Riverside study, thirty three percent less likely to, the to be in prison tell as that of to the 2021. Of the young lady killed in I'm just Georgia. giving the numbers. Well, what do you tell the parents of those people, those young girls who were killed? This is I mean, absurdity. You, 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 the preponderance you, of these people, what you, what Michael, are male. But what is the difference between an, an illegal immigrant? who unfortunately engages in that activity. And we don't like that, I want to be clear. And we, and people, we don't use the term illegal, so yeah, we don't, undocumented we don't individuals. Undocument, und, That's undocument, sweet, they're illegal aliens. Und, undocumented individuals versus um, anyone else who who commits the same crime. Well, I mean, it's so what you're saying is because you have this instance of individuals behaving badly, that that's a reflection of every individual in that community, and that's just not the case. No, is it's, it? It, it, what is the case is that because the preponderance. I mean, what of, percentage of those people, are the, the 11 million that you want I'll to answer deport, your question. No, I'm gonna say, no, I'm gonna just, I just want to clarify my question. Okay. That's what I'm trying to do. What percentage of those individuals that you want to get rid of, move out of the country, actually commit crimes? Our analysis in Texas, Georgia, and New York shows that a preponderance of the illegals who have come in what's are, un- I don't are, know what's that number. are unattached male, and there are unattached males, and the disproportionate number of them are people who are not even making any attempt to be illegal. But, but what is that and number? Obviously, are you a talking large number 10 of them out of 1,000, or are you talking, you know, I'm just trying to get Well, a, a, I, I just would say, um, and if Alicia were sitting here and you could hear her, she would say that you are weaponizing a, a, a 
horrific murder to smear 11 million people. That is and a that laughable is what assertion. Is what Joe Biden is doing is weaponizing the entire Before government. Before we let you go, American, Dr. Roberts. And what the Biden campaign is going to do, as they should, he's going to, they're going to use those comments as yet another demonstration of just how anti-immigrant, anti-Latino, anti-American Donald Trump is as he's trying to convince people outside of his MAGA coalition that he actually wants them to support him. He's never going to be able to do that with these horrific racist comments that he's making. And he seems to enjoy what he's saying. And yes, it riles up his MAGA base because they are as xenophobic as he is, but it does nothing to try to add support from the voters, the independents, the suburban women, the uh, other coalitions that he needs in order to win. So as a Democrat, by all means, keep saying what you're saying. It's exactly who he is at his core. As a Latina and as an immigrant, it makes me want to throw up, frankly, to tell you the truth. Scott? Two thirds of the American people support Donald Trump's policy prescriptions for immigration right now, including a majority of Hispanics but in the United States. what about his comments? Let me just I mean, tell do you, you see them things. as racist and xenophobic comments? I mean, he's painting migrants as, uh, you know, no. being violent, you know, they, they have violent tendencies, right? And of course, dehumanizing oh. Oh, them is he? to, oh, is he? to well, you know, being entertainment uh, for the rest of us. Is, is he painting them as being violent? I mean, would Lake and Riley think they were violent? Would Rachel Morin think they were violent? Would Jocelyn Nungare in Texas think they were violent? How about the girl that was raped in broad daylight in New York City? How about the girl that was kidnapped in Missouri? Yeah, there are violent people in the country. And yeah, Donald Trump uses colorful language, but the bottom line is immigration is killing Joe Biden's campaign right now. This is why he has a low approval rating. This is why Donald Trump is honing in on this and people are responding to it and people are fed up with it. And if you wanna call two thirds of the country racist or xenophobic because they're in a mood right now that they want this fixed, yes, agree, by all means, go on. It's not going to work.